And uh, we can now return to our breaking news story this hour uh, concerning the reported attack of uh, Israeli jets striking an airbase in Syria, the airbase near Latakia. And uh, now I can talk to Paula Sleer, who joins us now live with the details. Uh, tell us more about what you know about what's happened, Paula. Well, from what we're hearing, an Obama administration official has confirmed to media that Israeli warplanes struck a military base near the Syrian city of Latakia. The target of that attack is believed to have been missiles and other related equipment that Israel allegedly believed was making its way into the hands of Hezbollah. There was an earlier report that suggested that there were two Israeli strikes, one near the city of Latakia and the other inside Damascus itself. As of yet, there's been no comment from the Israeli government. But what we do understand from the reports that we are receiving is that the purpose of these strikes was really to completely destroy missile shipments. Now, there have been five previous incidents in which Israel is believed to have struck inside Syria, the first one being in January this year. In all of those instances, the reason given was for an Israeli fear that weapons were making their way into the hands of Hezbollah. But many critics say that really this was just an excuse for a blatant direct Israeli attack inside Syrian territory. In the past, Damascus has threatened to retaliate strongly. And of course, this is something that we will continue to monitor. And Paula, of course, this comes at a time when there are efforts to remove chemical weapons from Syria. Tell us, how is that progressing? Well, yes, all of this is happening while the Syrian government itself is very much focused on destroying its chemical weapon stockpiles. The process, according to the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, is on track. In fact, they say that the latest deadline was reached one day ahead of when it needed to be, and that was for Syria to completely destroy all equipment that is used for mixing, for producing and filling chemical weapons. So that was all destroyed by the 31st of October, even though the deadline set was the 1st of November. At the same time, the foreign inspectors who've been in Syria for several weeks now have visited 21 out of 23 chemical weapons stockpile sites. Now, they were unable to reach two because of fighting near those, the, those areas and also because of a lack of commitment by the rebels to ensure the safety of these foreign inspectors. But what we are hearing from both the inspectors and the Syrian government is that the deadline is being adhered to, that everything is on track for the final deadline, which is the middle of next year, by when Syria will have completely destroyed all its chemical weapons stockpiles. RT's Paula Slear, thanks very much indeed for that live update.